Today on Goods In, I'm looking at the Sony XDR S61D DAB and DAB Plus digital radio. A couple of months ago, I did an unboxing and uh, just a close look around this radio. This is the XDR P1 DBP from Sony, a really sort of well known, very tiny DAB and DAB Plus and FM radio. And it got me looking at the Sony range of DAB radios. So today on Goods In, I'm looking at this one. This is like the daddy of that one, I suppose. It's the XDR S61D. And yes, I've gone for the white version because the black version was on sale at £116, which is £16 above the recommended retail price. The white one was on sale at £80, so I thought, you know what? I don't normally get white tech, but I'm just going to try it. I'm going to try something a little bit different. I'm not looking really to use this massively anyway. I bought this specifically to open and just show off to you guys, whoever, whoever you are watching this, who, if you're like me and you love this Sony styling, this design, they're beautifully kind of, it's almost like it got a bit of kind of minimalist corporate look about it, this uh, Sony, uh, their Sony design. I, I just love it. A um, bit less so in the white version, but let's take a look at it. This is a, a DAB again, a DAB and DAB plus radio. That's really all it is. This one does have auxiliary in as well, unlike Pretty much every other DAB, Sony DAB radio I can come across. It doesn't have any kind of other connectivity though. There's no Bluetooth on this or anything. You kind of think you're kind of missing a missing an opportunity there, Sony. You could just put, put something on here around extra connectivity, but no, they keep it simple, and that's fair enough, I guess. So let's see what we have in the box. This was delivered by Amazon today, literally like this, left on my doorstep totally open for the entire world to see. Not even in a box, just left. <laughs> Honestly, Amazon Logistics are most of the time very, very good. Sometimes horrendous. Today was one of those horrendous days. All right, so as usual, we've got all our so oh, Sony bump that we get in with them. Uh, I'm not gonna read the operating instructions, uh, but um, yeah, nothing else in the box move the box out of the way. Oh no, there is. Ooh, what's this? Oh, it's the power adapter. Wow, you actually get a power adapter with it. Well done, Sony, on providing me a power adapter and a bit of polystyrene. All right, again, it comes in one of these nice... Mm, yes, this is lovely, isn't it? One of these nice um, bags. I do prefer... This isn't the perfect type, but it's a good size, isn't it? Nice size. I mean, look, compared to the whole box size of this one, it's, uh, it's like loads bigger. But let's take it out and have a look at this radio. There we are. Look at that. Move that out the way. Get this in shot and uh, give you a good look at the radio there. Just a single speaker, of course, so it is naturally a stereo radio. Um, and, wow, my camera's having trouble focusing. It's having trouble finding anything to focus on the radio. It's so so bland and simple, the design. And uh, this is the nice rotary control there. That's really nice, really nice feel to that. Lovely. Just push push to execute, I assume, whatever, you know, you just select what you want. We'll power it up in a second and take a look. Four buttons there. And on the top, we've got our five preset buttons. Wow, well done. They give you five this time. Nice metallic look power button. Is it actually metal? That? Mm, yeah, it could be actually. Could be. And then a nice nice sort of gentle volume control. A uh, bit more difficult to show you, I've realised. A bit more difficult to show you detail um, <laughs> when it's white. Maybe that's why I never buy any white tech, because I can't show it on camera. But really nothing to it. Look, left-hand side completely blank. Right-hand side completely blank. The back is virtually blank. Nothing to it at all. Apart from here, we have a headphone out and your auxiliary in and then a power input as well which is a uh, five volt in at the back and alternatively to the five volt you can use four double a cells as well so this is you know totally portable which is nice and i better grab some double a's hadn't i because that's why i'm going to need to power this up now 
Right, I think these are, uh, I hope these are all charged. I don't know, as, I, as I've said on, my, on the previous video I did, I don't really have any use for radios like this anymore. I don't use them, I do use, I use streaming for everything. But it, there's just something I love about a nice, simple design radio like this. You know, it's not trying to be anything fancy, it's not trying to do anything crazily funky, it's just a radio. Let's power it up. All right, let's see. it's going to scan, so I'm going to give it an opportunity to at least find something by whacking up the telescopic antenna there, which is about 50 centimetres long. And uh, I'll give you, while it's doing that, I'll give you a close-up look at the display so you can see in detail the um, sort of the type of display it is. So it's an LCD display, but this, rather than, uh, you know, rather than being sort of only a couple of lines like the other one, uh, the smaller radio, this has got a little bit more information available all the time because it's just got more kind of segments, you know, it's got higher resolution, really, I suppose. So you've got the time there permanently and, you, you know, the music and the radio station you're on, your battery and uh, what whether you're on FM or DAB, I suppose. And that's about it. So let's just turn this up. Brilliant. Well, there we go. So it's uh, it's actually picked up everything first time. No trouble at all. It's um, picked up a lot. So last time I had I struggled to get the um, BBC multiplex first time round. It was only picking up the kind of absolute eighties and all that sort of garbage. Uh, but it has got the BBC stuff on there as well, so if I just, uh, I can just, I thought, I thought I'd like the white. I'm not too keen on it, actually. It might, might fit somewhere in the house. Let's try Radio 4, see what they've got on. The official message is, don't let hope of the vaccine stop you taking precautions. Super nice, simple front. Let's go into the menu now. Zoom in to the uh, display to show you this. And uh, there is the back button, so you can go into the menu by pressing the menu button there. We have, first of all, the wake-up timer, and then we have a sleep option, and then the information on the station that you're listening to at the time, which just gives you the, all the standard information you get on these little Sony radios. Signal level's only 54 at the moment. We've got the station coming in no problem at all, but uh, signal level is, doesn't seem particularly high. If I go back now, backlight can either be auto or always on there's no actual sort of timings on that it's just auto and then we have time which can be uh, set or will obviously be retrieved from the uh, digital stations as well if you are receiving any and then 12 or 24 hour beep can be on or off simple as that really not much to it is there and uh, you can manually tune the digital stations if you wish or reset the radio and that's it Something that I didn't check on my last video, but I've just noticed now, is that the menu on this is slightly different on FM than it is on uh, DAB. So uh, in FM, we have the opportunity to select manual tune or just have it pick up your auto tune station list and then just list all those out for you. Uh, but I'm going to select manual tune on here now. Uh, we also can edit the FM station list as well. So you can get the station name, delete it, or add your own FM station into the list so uh, just a couple of changes from the uh, dab the rest is uh, exactly the same so um, a few few extra options few different options on a, on fm that obviously you wouldn't really need on dab anyway so uh, if i just turn this up now let's see if we can do any unmuted searching no so you're still left with that huge delay between each search. Oh, probably over a second between each search. I just wish you could have a manual unmuted search of FM so you could just scroll through it like almost like a sort of old school radio and find the stuff that you want. But no, they always put they always kind of mute it as you actually kind of tune. So a uh, bit annoying that they do that, but it's always been the way with uh, most digital radios. And um, there are only a few that I've come across that have ever had that unmuted or an option to unmute that. So lovely display, like it. Uh, everything's really, really clear on there. I mean, look at that, even when the, even when the 
backlight goes off just how beautifully clear these uh, lcd displays are just love them let's test how long it takes to power up so here's the power button on the top i'm just gonna press that now turn that down so I don't get any content matches and uh, that was about what five seconds something like that uh, what about changing a station so let's go to uh, BBC let's change to from Radio 1 to Radio 2 okay so that's much quicker but what about if we change to a different multiplex like um, uh, I think classics on a different one Yeah, so that's a little bit longer. So I would say in total probably about um, a second to change to a different station on the same multiplex, about four seconds to change to a different station on a different one, and about five seconds to power up. Right, as far as volume goes, this thing goes up to 30 on the button, on the, um, on the actual road thing at the top. And I'm going to just quickly turn that up. And it isn't really very loud. That's one thing I would say, first impressions, is that the volume on this is not particularly loud. I think other stations might be a little bit better than that. Uh, what's going to be a loud station? Some station that processes its, processes its music to the hilt and makes it sound absolutely terrible as a result. Uh, probably Heart or something. Let's try Heart 90s. Let's just see how loud that actually goes. Uh, yeah, it's not, it sounds terrible, but um, it does does go fairly loud, doesn't it? Not too bad. The radio is easily thick enough to provide balance for the telescopic antenna, so you can have this extended right out backwards uh, horizontally, and the radio's got enough weight there to keep that completely supported, unlike the small one, which has to have a little sort of clip on to uh, ensure the radio stays balanced. This one, fairly sturdy, fairly big, no problem at all. Um... I don't like radios that have power adapters on them like this because, you know, you're just feeding in a load of garbage potentially through, through a power adapter. In fact, I'll just take a look at the spec of the power adapter. It is, it is well um, suppressed there by these uh, ferrite core things or whatever. It's got two of those on either end, so hopefully there shouldn't be too much garbage getting actually into the radio from these dirty switch mode power supplies. But um, there's the spec of the power supply. Just a standard 5, five volts, um, 0.7 amps, so really not much power required on this at all. So there we go. She's a beauty, isn't she? Just a lovely design. <laughs> Sorry, I keep going on about the fact that this design's really nice, but I do really, really like it. Uh, what's not to like about it? Well, I'll tell you a couple of things that I'm not too keen on, which I've mentioned during the video there. Firstly is uh, this type of power input on the back. Give me just a straight kind of mains connector into the back, but I guess that would add uh, add weight and take up more space inside. Um, I'm not I, this this button is really really nice because it feels very very sturdy and uh, it's got a really nice sort of push on there. But you can't just kind of scroll through like this because when you scroll through with one finger you push the button and it stops you doing that so you have to physically grab onto it turn it with two fingers and then push it a minor thing you might say but it makes a difference because to me if i'm sort of just if i just got my radio sat there i'd like to just kind of go up to it like that and just push do the button like that but i can't because i can't get enough grip on the button to just scroll it round like this to get enough grip i have to push it so hard that it presses so that doesn't work that well for me. You have to just reach out and gently touch it like this. Uh, what else can I think of? I mean, the, the volume, this volume thing on the top, it looks really neat. It's nice and flush with the case. But again, I would prefer something just, just a, a rotary control on the side or a rotary control. It doesn't need to be flush. And it makes it just a little bit kind of more fiddly than it needs to be. It's kind of design over function, in my opinion, on that one. Uh, the power button, that metallic power button is beautiful, love that. The sound quality on this is is excellent. It's got like a decent cabinet to it. Yeah, build quality wise, it feels plastic because it is plastic, 
but it doesn't feel too plasticky because everything is held together nicely. There's no creaks. There's no kind of bits going like when you're squeezing it around. It just feels like a sturdy radio, even though, yes, it does feel plastic because it is apart from the metal grill here. Display is lovely. Four double A's to use it. No problem there. Audio in, yeah, they missed a trick with not having any kind of Bluetooth connectivity. Probably would be nice with a, ra a uh, on a radio of this price because this comes in at retail price of £100 for this radio. You would expect either Bluetooth, potentially even internet connectivity for that kind of money. But being a Sony, I reckon this is going to last you and is going to it's going to be pretty sensitive compared to other radios as well. So as as a radio, which probably is what you want it for it's going to perform better than many other cheaper alternatives out there. I like it. Sony coming up with the goods again. Let me know your thoughts in the comments. What do you think of this radio? Do you like it? Do you like their designs in general? Have you got any of these? Have you got the smaller one? Have you got this smaller one that I was looking at just a second ago? Let me know and thanks very much for watching. See you soon. Bye.